Just uh, like trying to reform America again, bringing back America. Because the Lord told me, he said, I am not done with America. Amen. He said, there's going to be a new wave of patriotism coming out. And that's whenever I saw Trump and I saw the, I saw a, a red wave coming out of um, Michigan. And then I saw Oklahoma and there was embers of people and they were all on um, these, these, they had torches all throughout Oklahoma and they were raising up these torches that looked like fire. And they were bringing forth a new patriotism upon the nation. And it was coming, it was being birthed and it just kept spreading like fire all throughout America, all throughout. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness whose end shall be according to their works. And I saw Trump rising up, and then I saw an attempt on his life. Uh, that, that this bullet flew by his ear, and it came so close to his head that it busted his drum, eardrum. All right, this so-called prophet that uh, saw the vision of Trump's attempted assassination, he added in a part about the eardrum, where he's saying that the bullet whizzed by and busted Trump's eardrum, which uh, anybody that knows anything about ballistics and shooting from two or three hundred yards, the bullet alone, if it nicks someone's ear, it's not going to bust their eardrum. It's going to take a piece of the ear or poke a hole in it. It's not like in the movies or whatever, but check check out what this guy says. He's got to say in response. Uh, and, and I, you know, last night I was asking the Lord, I said, you know, what about, you know, people keep asking, what about the eardrum? You missed it on the eardrum. You missed it on the eardrum. And it didn't bust, nothing busted about the eardrum. And um, this, I'm going to tell you all, this is what I saw. I, you know, and this, and I want to say this. I have noticed a lot of times whenever I watch other prophetic videos, if they've missed it, they don't come out and address the elephant in the room. They just kind of bypass it. They push it under a rug and uh, they don't, they don't. There are no prophets today, only false prophets. There's a lot of prophets today, a lot of false prophets today, but we have the scripture. It's perfect. There are no prophets prophesying today. People need to wake up come out and address it and say hey i missed it or whatever they just kind of act like and ignore it and act like it never happened and i i am a very transparent person i i am never here to try to uh be false about anything i tell you what i see and i pray and that's 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 what i do well obviously what you saw wasn't the truth if god is speaking god speaks the truth he doesn't make up stuff people come on and, and I, I see visions the lord gives me things this is important right here because he explains sort of how he sees things how he gets these prophecies and the way he gets them is through these visions so he sees things uh through some sort of vision maybe maybe it's almost like you could imagine like a daydream where you're thinking about something else that that occurs and what he claims is that this is coming directly from god and so he's about to explain in this next clip exactly what he saw and how that's not necessarily inconsistent with the facts the real facts of the matter now, what's important, though, here is that he says that a lot of prophets don't really try to explain, like, what's going on with the false parts of their prophecies. And so that's, I think... That's because they're not prophets of God. One thing that is really important and I think good about Brandon is that he's, att he's at least attempting to do that. He understands it's important to call yourself out and, and try to be as truthful as possible and whether or not you are a true prophet. And I mean, the, the Bible is very clear about this. Like it tells us, dear friends, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God because so many false prophets have gone out into the world. And so this is a very biblical. God speaks to us through his word today. You know, whenever God speaks to me, it's through his word. He's not talking and giving people prophecies. There's no more prophets today, period. There's no more prophets today thing to do is to test. We don't want to just believe this guy and, and claim that he's a prophet simply on the basis that he got some of these details correct. We actually want to uh, test it and, and, and see if what he said actually lines up. That's uh, that's what we're attempting to do here. We Now we need to know exactly what he saw and whether or not what he saw is consistent with the facts. And so this is what the Lord showed me, okay? I saw the uh, bullet go by his ear right here. 
And whenever I saw it, I saw the, the radio waves. That's why I was trying to tell you, it was kind of like the Matrix whenever Neo or whatever was going backwards and, and you could see those bullets shooting like that. And it was like that, that. What did I say about Hollywood? <laughs> Unbelievable. That's why I made that. Okay, first of all, this is like super nostalgia. I love the Matrix. That was, yep, that was my childhood. First video and I was trying to show you all that. That's what I was seeing in the spirit. I saw the sound waves whenever I was praying and the Lord was, I was seeing over into what he wanted me to see. I saw the sound waves coming. Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy in your name? Lord, Lord, didn't we do marvelous works in your name? And the Lord's gonna say, depart from me. You workers of iniquity, I never knew you. See, that's how he speaks to us because that just came into my spirit. But that's not, that's God talking to me through his word. You see, he's not saying, Charles, this or, you know, that. He's not talking to us like that today. Come on. Off of it. And whenever it passed by his ear, Okay, see, that's that's an important detail because it says that he saw it pass by his ear as opposed to going through his ear. Now, you might think that just on that basis alone, this guy is a false prophet. Um, I, I'm not really sure what to what to make of that. If a detail like that, I mean, it seems like a relatively small detail, but it is a detail nevertheless that he gets wrong, seemingly, seemingly gets wrong. Like it doesn't just pass by his ear, it goes through his ear. And so some people are like, just on that basis alone, ready to to discount this guy as a false prophet. But uh, let's, let's continue. I saw blood flow down his face, just like it did, okay? I did not know. Blood did not flow down his face until he squatted down in his little group and they painted it on there. That's not how prophecies work. Oh, that it pierced his ear in the vision. I did not see that. I saw it go by and I saw blood flow. So I, I'm telling y'all, this is where people get in trouble in the prophetic. You add to and you take away from what you're seeing. So here I was, it's immaturity. I'm just being real with y'all. It's immaturity, I need to grow. Uh, I added too. I said it was a busted eardrum because I saw blood flowing down his face. So I thought, surely th there's no way any. Doesn't the scripture say in Revelation that he who adds to or takes away from my word, he'll add to the plagues that are in this book. And he who takes away, his name will be taken out of the book of life. Again, that's how God speaks to us today through his word sound that's going to go anything like that that's going to cause that to pop okay so okay so this this is actually something that i hypothesized actually when i saw his first video initially i thought that all right i'll leave the link to this in the description and i'm going to finish playing the rest of brian's video that's horizontal horizon and i'm gonna leave his link in the description box in the comments as well you guys sub to him he's been cranking out some really good stuff lately anyway Y'all have a good one later. And I saw um, he was he fell to his knees during this time frame and he started worshiping the Lord. He got radically born again during this time frame. Uh, that's just just you know, just amazing. Uh, so, so here he is. They released this in March. So that's March, April, May, June, July. Um, four months before uh, Trump uh, got shot. They take this in November. Here's the clip. I saw Trump rising up and then I saw an attempt on his life. Uh, that, that this bullet flew by his ear and it came so close to his head that it busted his drum, eardrum. And I saw um, he was, he fell to his knees during this time frame and he started worshiping the Lord. He got radically born again during this time frame. I'm talking, people say he's saved now, but he becomes really on fire for Jesus for what I saw coming. And then you see the photo of Trump on, on his knees with bloody hands and bloody face. And he said that he saw that it was God. He said that the RNC on his speeches in that moment that it was God that had protected him. And he looked out and saw the crowd that he was dead and, and pushed past the Secret Service and demanded he stand up. And he said, wait a minute, fight, fight, fight. So an incredible moment. Uh, Pastor Brandon Biggs, last days on YouTube, last days 247. And uh, Pastor... Uh, Steve also joins us, Pastor Steve Kokolati. Uh, so, gentlemen of Discover Church Online and Discovery or Discover Ministries on YouTube, uh, wow, great to have you both on. I know you've got more prophetic word for people. Obviously, inspired by God, you can't make a call like this and it not be. I mean, it, you, not just the grazing here, but the falling down. And then Trump said, 
and I talked to Trump. People he didn't even know about your clip. He, he, he literally said days later, I, I felt God at that moment. And, and everybody that knows Trump said he's, you know, he, he's credited God publicly, but that Trump is a new man now, even more focused, more in that place of the most high, that quiet place of the most high. Uh, so, uh, Pastor Brandon, you know, uh, Pastor Steve, you can start wherever you want here, gentlemen. I know you've got more prophetic words for us, so God bless you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Pastor. Well, I want to say thank you for uh, having us on, Alex. Um, we were mm -hmm. watching you in Australia just to let you know and praying for you all these years because when you got the platform in 2018, you were the canary in the coal mine for the rest of us. It's absolutely supernatural. So God is getting people's attention for what? Not to sensationalize this, but to confirm that it's time to seek him and to seek justice. This is the season. This is the message of these prophecies. All right, going to Pastor Brandon Biggs. Pastor, tell us about yourself and this amazing uh, prophecy and, 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 and what God's telling you now, what you're seeing. You know, right, you know, I'm just going to say it like this. I, I have so, so much on my heart to even talk to you all about today. You know, we are in a very serious time. And I want to, and I want to, you know, I, I try not to be real like a fear monger and, you know, and tell everybody, hey, y'all need to buckle up because things are going to get rough. But um, more than ever. Um, for the things that the, the Lord... The Holy Spirit is on my heart, like, like, telling people, get ready. That's all I've just got is, like, tell people, you better get right right now. Yes, that's right. And, and what I've seen coming in the near future, you know, uh, for the things that I've been praying over, and even whenever I was praying, I said, Lord, what do you want me to say to, to Alex Jones today? Because, I, I mean, I said, I, you know, we could talk about the Trump thing and the things that I've seen coming for even him. I've seen more attempts on his life coming. And the Lord said, we need to pray for him. This is not over. These people are, are relentless. They're not going to give up. And um, we've got to keep praying over him and interceding that God would have a divine protection just like he did before um, for the, the things that I've seen coming. And, you know, I've seen a woman trying to take him out that was at a resort, and the Lord showed me uh, she had, like, a French twist in her hair. She was blonde-headed, and I saw her walking down these steps, and she had, like, this ball gown on, and she actually tries to take him out then. And I've seen... Um, Three major terrorists come across the border in Arizona recently, and the Lord spoke to me, and he said, Brandon, I want you to warn my people that there's three major, uh, uh, like, generals is what I want to call them, that came across the border, and he said they're planning a massive attack on the Americans uh, on, on the soil here. And um, he warned me about this. I saw he had a big beard. He, had, he was heavy set man. I saw these other two men that were standing beside him. They were skinnier looking. And um, he said uh, they, they're planning massive attacks. And I saw these... Um, uh, cells of people that were here coming from across the border. They were, they've been here for a long time and they're waiting on their orders. And the Lord showed me these people all in these, like when they, when they are, are, are like they're in some kind of command, they have some way of communicating. And um, whenever they are told to do, they're going to strike, strike, strike. And I saw them like ants coming up out of the ground. And the Lord said they're underground. He was telling me, it was, it's just like a type and shadow of what he was showing me. He said, they're coming up, they're going to come up out of the ground, uh, out of their hiding places. And, like ants. Suddenly, suddenly. Yes, yeah, suddenly. And he said, when this happens, it will happen so many times that it will overwhelm the American people. And he said, you must pray. And then I saw two major buildings in New York again. They look like like hotels, like Trump Tower like things. Uh, like I can't you know, exactly know if it was in New York or Chicago, but I know that these two buildings had bombs on the inside of them and they exploded and I could see them coming down and they were bringing them down. And um, the Lord warns me about this, but the major thing that the Lord has been uh, talking to me about to warn the people is they're, they're designing a new plague. And he said, Brandon, I need you to tell my people that, that there is a massive plague that will make COVID look like a walk in the park. He said, Brandon, they, they are using AI technology. And I saw them taking the DNA code of this virus that they're making in a lab. I saw these leaders. I saw these people. I, 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 I don't, for my life, I, I probably shouldn't name their names, but I saw these um, men in a meeting and they were designing this virus. And uh, the Lord warned me, he's, he, it, was, it was going to be spiced with uh, the medication that you take for uh, heart disease and diabetes and things like that. And they were using it with AI technology. The, 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 the people who take those viruses, he was, the Lord was calling me. It was, uh, so you're, 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 let me be clear. You're saying it was designed to hit people that were already on certain medications? Yes, sir. And it was, and he said it would be, it would, it was genetic code, the way they were doing it with DNA. And he said they were using that kind of technology somehow and making it into a super virus. And he said, Brandon, there will be no vaccination that they will be able to come up with this. This is made to have like a genocide. against the people. And he told me, he said, you must warn them that they're going to do this. And you know, whenever you warned everybody, Alex, that they were going to try to um, bring in another kind of a COVID before the election, you sound the alarm to warn the people. And, and it looks like it was stopped. The louder we get, we expose their darkness and their plans of what they're trying to plot against the people. And isn't that key to hear the pastor? But isn't, God gives us prophecy to give us a chance to stop it. It's not meaning we want it to happen. Right. It, it means people, and then God gives people the power of prophecy so they get listened to later, we can turn it around. Yes, that's exactly right. And I believe with all my heart that we can stop these things that I'm seeing. You know, when we, we, we sound the alarm and we're saying, hey, look over here, look over here, like a watchman. You know, it's like what they would do in the old days. You know, they would stand on the wall and they would see the enemies coming. And they would say, listen, there's, 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 a, there's an army coming to destroy Israel. There's an army coming to do whatever. They're warning the people so they can prepare to fight. And here I am, I'm trying to warn you all that they're going to try to create another major virus like COVID that is worse. This is, COVID was the test run. You all think that COVID was the major event? No, I've seen hundreds of millions of people going to die from this virus. And the, I saw it was a great, like a, a yellow cloud. It was like a... 
a plague like coming out of uh, the, it was airborne is what the Lord was trying to show me and, and there were there was literally camps of people all they the hospitals were overwhelmed they were overwhelmed with all the uh, people that were dying from this virus and they had they had tents the Lord showed me tents of people all throughout uh, the parking lots of places that um that, with with cots trying to uh, take care of them just to help them just to go on and they were going to die I mean there were, once you got the virus of what this is you did not make it unless you had Sir, intervention I want, you to, I, I want you to continue on throughout the hour and and, and because, you know I, I can it's, 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 I, I can tell you're real uh, I can feel in the spirit that, that, that you, know, you guys are on target and I've seen some of the things you said they've come true as well and I've had similar things happen I never really want to even say it on air but I know when it's God telling me something and in just the last six months I, I said they will try to kill Trump it's imminent because I can literally feel God almost slapping me on, on the side of the face saying hey I'm telling you this but I had some really amazing things happen in the last six months and I told people on air about it and I got crazy and so I didn't notice the media didn't attack me because they know this stuff's real folks they don't want to even talk about it and I would just like wake up and God would say this happened four times in one week. This happened other times in my life, but not you know, usually like a couple times a year. And God would say, uh, your phone's in there on the bathroom. Go look at it. It's 4 a.m. And I'd walk in 4 a.m. He goes, and now you're thinking, that was a lucky guess. There's 15 seconds left. Countdown. All right, 14, 13, 12, 11, and right at zero. Bloop, and God goes, now, I I'm doing this because you need to absolutely do what I say when I say it and say what I tell you to say. And so that's why since then, I've just said whatever I'm, I, because it, it, we're in that much danger. This is that real. God is real, folks. Okay, this isn't me. It's that I'm attuned to it, and there's many other people. And as the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. And, and I'm not claiming I'm some angel or perfect person, but I love God, and I've been touched by God. appearance my god what 